The influence of Kendrick Lamar and Drake has forever transformed the landscape of rap beefs. Greetings, everyone. Today, we will be delving into the captivating rap feud between Drake and Kendrick Lamar that has garnered worldwide interest. In a short period of time, both artists have released a multitude of diss tracks, revolutionizing the way rap battles unfold by instantly reaching audiences through social media. While fans are exhilarated by this rivalry, it is important to consider the potential real-life implications as past rap disputes have resulted in violence. Although tensions have somewhat subsided, the public eagerly anticipates any future developments in this prominent feud. Without any more delay, let us commence our discussion on this matter. From the bustling streets of New York City to the lively nightclubs across the United States, their music has been heard blasting from car stereos, played by DJs, translated into Chinese on TikTok, and even served as inspiration for merengue songs that resonate with Spanish-speaking audiences. The rap beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar, fueled by a series of diss tracks from both artists, has ignited a massive wave of global attention and sparked countless online discussions and analyses, making it one of the most high-profile rivalries in recent memory. Drake and Lamar's influence in the rap industry goes beyond that of your average artist. Drake's ownership of a record label and collaborations with the Toronto Raptors and Nike, coupled with Lamar's historic achievement of being the first rapper to win a Pulitzer Prize for his exceptional artistry and his successful production for the acclaimed film Black Panther, have solidified their status as iconic figures. The fact that these two influential figures are engaging in a highly public and heated dispute has captivated not only fans of hip-hop, but also individuals worldwide. This is especially intriguing considering the rapid and intense exchange of lyrical criticisms between Drake and Lamar. Within a span of just under four weeks, the rap rivals have unleashed a total of nine solo diss tracks targeting each other. However, there have been various collaborative efforts and songs produced by other artists that date back to the collaboration between Drake and North Carolina rapper J. Cole on the track First Person Shooter in October 2023. On the track First Person Shooter, J. Cole boldly declared himself Drake and Lamar as the triumvirate of hip-hop. However, Lamar vehemently refuted this notion on the collaborative song Like That, produced by Metro Boomin and featuring rapper Future, by proclaiming that it is solely his greatness that reigns supreme. Back in the early days of rap, diss tracks were a rare find only accessible through bootlegged cassettes, underground radio stations, or live performances at clubs. However, the explosive rap feud between Lamar and Drake has unequivocally demonstrated that this dynamic has undergone a permanent transformation. According to Carl Lamar, the deputy director of R&B and Hip Hop at Billboard, this particular conflict is poised to outshine all others due to its rapid integration into popular culture. In previous times, fans would have had to exercise patience as feuds unfolded over the course of several months. However, in the case of Jay-Z and Nas, the wait was significantly shorter. Jay-Z's diss track, Takeover, was unleashed in September 2001, serving as a means to mock his fellow New Yorker. It took Nas a mere three months to retaliate with his response either. In the past, the act of dropping a diss track was a key component of the competitive nature that existed within the hip-hop community. It served as a means for artists, particularly those looking to gain recognition on a smaller scale, to assert their dominance and secure opportunities for future performances or record deals. According to Bill Stephanie, a former executive at Def Jam Records, if a rap beef continued beyond a night at the club, audiences would need to invest effort in order to keep up. During his time in 1980s New York City, Mr. Stephanie recalled how fans would diligently record diss tracks onto cassette tapes, with only a fortunate few managing to obtain a listenable version. These tapes would then be duplicated numerous times, resulting in a gradual decline in sound quality until the track became barely discernible. Mr. Stephanie himself put in considerable effort to acquire a coveted cassette featuring the rap prowess of Roxanne Chante, a 14-year-old female artist who played a pivotal role in popularizing diss tracks within the New York scene. 
In fact, she spearheaded a series of renowned rap feuds and rivalries known as the Roxanne Wars throughout the 1980s. The ability for artists to instantly release their music on social media, even prior to it being available on streaming platforms, allows for direct communication between the two rappers and their audiences. This immediate connection enables fans to react and respond in real time, and the impact can quickly spread throughout popular culture. If we fast forward four decades from the Roxanne Wars, Kendrick and Drake now have the ability to create something, and instead of having to duplicate it hundreds of times for fans in the New York area, they can effortlessly upload it within seconds, explained Mr. Stephanie. The rapid consumption of content by 100 million individuals is an incredibly significant technological shift. It's difficult to fully grasp the magnitude of this transformation. The diss tracks created by these two individuals have sparked numerous discussions on Reddit, informative videos on YouTube, and articles analyzing the situation in the media. Furthermore, the songs born out of their ongoing feud have dominated the streaming charts in recent weeks. Lamar's latest track, Not Like Us, has quickly become a global sensation, ranking as the most streamed song worldwide. It soared to the top spot on Apple Music charts in a staggering 40 countries just last week and is projected to make its debut at Hash One on the esteemed Billboard charts in the upcoming days. Not Like Us has also garnered attention on American television, receiving airtime during an NBA playoff game. The infectious beats have reverberated through the speakers at the renowned Los Angeles Dodgers Stadium, while even tennis star Naomi Osaka revealed that she listened to it before stepping onto the court at the prestigious Italian Open. President Joe Biden's campaign utilized Lamar's diss track Euphoria in a video aimed at casting shade on Republican contender and former President Donald Trump. According to Pete Nice, co-curator of the Hip Hop Museum in the Bronx, and a founding member of hip-hop group Third Base. In the past, only those deeply involved in the subculture were aware of rap beefs and followed them passionately, as it was not easily accessible to the general public. In the past, one had to physically purchase a cassette or vinyl and rely on radio broadcasts to stay informed. However, today's generation has access to everything right at their fingertips. These songs have undoubtedly gained popularity and brought joy to fans, but they have also shed light on the more troubling aspects of an ongoing feud witnessed by millions. Allegations of domestic abuse, undisclosed offspring and child exploitation have all been addressed in these tracks without substantiating evidence, and both individuals involved vehemently deny these claims. In a recent interview with eTalk CTV Ice Cube, the renowned figure of West Coast rap, and a central figure in several rap conflicts during the 1990s, expressed his belief that both parties involved in these diss tracks stand to suffer significant consequences due to the immense amount of attention they have garnered. He emphasized that historical evidence indicates that these disputes have, on occasion, escalated into acts of violence. The nature of rap disputes is highly unstable, he commented. One must always exercise caution to prevent a mere disagreement from escalating into a fatal incident. In the past, a diss track would circulate within the confines of the hip-hop community. Nowadays, however, it spreads worldwide, reaching people from all walks of life. Unfortunately, some individuals are unable to handle the intense humiliation that comes with it. Mr. Stephanie reminisced about the rap feuds between Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls, which tragically resulted in their deaths during the mid-1990 Yes, He also pointed out that a security guard was recently shot outside Drake's residence, which has been the site of two other altercations involving law enforcement since the shooting incident. Although authorities have not linked these disturbances to Drake's conflict with Lamar, the ex-record producer expressed concern that the ongoing feud between the two rappers may escalate into actual violence. Reflecting on the tragic murders of Tupac and Biggie 28 years ago, Mr. Stephanie expressed his bewilderment at the senselessness of those events. He fervently hopes that the perpetrators have since gained wisdom from their actions and recognized the abhorrent nature of the violence that transpired during that period. 
In the past few days, it appears that tensions have subsided, but the impact of the beef on the reputations of the stars remains uncertain, leaving the public in anticipation. Despite this, fans and casual observers are still eagerly anticipating the release of another diss track. Just a mere six days ago, on May 5th, Drake dropped his latest track, The Heart Part 6. It is evident that fans are hungry for more and eagerly awaiting what comes next. According to Mr. Lamar, this is the type of competition that garners widespread support. It's reminiscent of iconic rivalries such as Nadal Federer, Lakers Celtics and Yankees Red Sox. These two artists, each with their own remarkable achievements and unique backgrounds, bring a distinct flavour to the table. As individuals gather around the virtual bonfire of the internet, a sense of community is fostered while eagerly anticipating the release of the next diss track. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.